Hello everyone. Today in this video I am sharing few information on new Microsoft Teams April 2020 updates. Many schools, colleges have moved to Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Teams is adding new features to Teams app to address requirement of educators. According to Teams blog post published yesterday in Teams forum, it is rolling out few more features in Teams. Let's have a look on five major updates I have listed here. Number one. Number of simultaneous videos in Teams meetings. In latest April 2020 updates, Microsoft has increased the number of participants who can be viewed simultaneously on Teams meeting stage that is 3 into 3 and it was previously 2 into 2 which means we can have 9 videos at a time. In this 3 into 3 video, attendees with camera enabled and recently speaking can be viewed during a meeting i have not seen it in my teams account yet but let's hope it will be available soon for everyone if it's already rolled out according to microsoft team it will take a couple of weeks to reach to everyone second feature i have listed here is raise hands feature the new raise hand feature in Teams allows meeting attendees to identify that they wish to speak, making it easier to actively participate in large meetings. Everyone will see a visual cue on the attendee as well as in a participant list that prioritizes who raised their hand first and can give them the room to participate in the conversation at hand. This new feature is also being rolled out and will be available for everyone within two weeks according to Microsoft Teams. Third feature I am listing here is background effects. I have already seen this feature in my Teams account with, with which we can change our background. This new feature in Teams allows meeting attendees to customize their video background from a list of pre-selected images. According to Teams blog, this feature is available in most of the account and it will continue to enhance this new feature to include the ability for users to upload their own custom image in place of freely kept images in gallery. Fourth one I have listed here is in the meeting for all participants, meeting organizers are now able to end the meetings for everybody so that all participants are made to exit the meeting. Within the meeting control bar, only meeting organizer will see an item that says in meeting. It can be based in education. Fifth feature I have listed here is meeting option. This new feature is useful for teachers. With this teacher can set students as attendees by changing presenter to only me. This feature was rolled out already and let's hope in new future update, teachers will be able to completely close the class meetings too. Presently, teachers can use cancel meeting option when their class is over so that students couldn't attend or join the meeting back again. These are the best new features rolling out in Microsoft Teams. Keep updated and check the new updates in your accounts too. Thanks everyone for watching my video. Keep on watching. I would like to request you to subscribe my channel for new updates.